What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googlelicious. It's all the Google that we can pack into a show each week, so let's get to it in. You know, sometimes you'll get the unexpected that keeps the tech world on its toes, and Google pulled one of those moves after it officially acquired Boston Dynamics, the maker of animal-inspired robots. Now, if you haven't seen what this company is capable of, these video clips pretty much say it all. They have robots like the Big Dog that can carry and transport 400 pound loads, or the Cheetah that can run over 29 miles per hour. It's almost as fast as me. Now the acquisition aligns with former Android chief Andy Rubin's robotic push for Google, and it's pretty clear this is his love of robots and it's his new focus. Oh, and this guy, the Pet Man? That's a robot, not someone dressed up in a suit. So we'll see what Rubin's team brings us in the next few years, but. I'll just start worrying if uh, they name one of their buildings Cyberdyne. The Nexus 5 is rated our top product on the CNET 100 right now. That's an algorithm combining CNET's own internal and external data, reviews, and input from our editors and really what's hot right now to create tech's first of its kind leaderboard. Now the Nexus 5 is only going to get better or really just slightly adjusted after pictures from the XDA developers forum show subtle hardware tweaks to the phone. Now, if you guys look carefully, you'll see larger, slightly larger speaker grills because that's obviously important. And the volume and power buttons reportedly have been made to be stiffer with the SIM card tray protruding less compared to initial models. So good for new users and eh, not so hot for the loyal early adopters. Now the LG G Flex phone with its self-healing Wolverine-like backing still hasn't officially announced a US carrier, but Evleaks posted the pick that is destined for Sprint according to them. Now there's no price and no availability information, and it really is a unique device, but we'll see if consumers care about this flexible type display. Also software updates are always happening in the Google world. We talked about 4.2.2 rolling out last week, and now Google Play editions of the Samsung S4 and HTC One are getting them as well, including the LG G-Pad 8.3-inch Google Play edition that was rumored to possibly be the new Nexus tablet, but it's a Google Play edition instead. And a good sign overall, Google Play edition models are getting the updates nearly as fast as Nexus devices. Also, Netflix for Android finally gets the multiple profile support. We've seen this on set-top box versions and iOS, so it's great to finally see it on Android. The update also includes an enhanced search for people and related titles, as well as bug fixes. And Google is also adding a feature called Control Room to Google Hangouts on Air that are starting to gain popularity. It will now allow you to adjust the volume level and video levels of other participants for yourself. It will be coming in the next few days, and the best part is muting people you don't care about. And a few quick stories. We don't have any moving shots, so you'll just have to use your imagination, but this is pretty awesome after a new Google Glass game called Glass Hunt. Just think of it as Duck Hunt without the ducks or the dog, you know, that dog. And you'll be shooting clay pigeons for Google Glass instead. And the Moto X is still a popular phone with customization galore, and they offered a teaser on their Twitter account for a new wood backing. Finally, wouldn't you know, it's what everyone wanted in the first place. And check this out, a little Easter egg for Google Plus users. The Big Googs added a cool shake feature on Android. Just shake it up and you'll see some awesome auto snow. In fact, we added the same feature to this show, so just try it right now. Just shake us, Sh shake us right now. Keep shaking and look, <laughs> see how cool? We have auto snow too. All right. That's gonna do it for this week's show. Now, we're gonna be gone on a holiday break and going to CES, so we're going to be gone for a few weeks and we'll return in the middle of January. We're not going away, but we just wanted to let you all know. And remember, you can email us at googlelicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong and I'll respond to you when I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Tong and we'll see you next year for some more of that Googlelicious. Googlelicious.